So this is a bit of a slideshow, just one slide, uh, for Delphine on the diffusion of enzymes and low molecular weight compounds uh, in both brown rots and white rots. And uh, I think the important thing to note here is that enzymes of any type, and it doesn't whether, matter whether they come from animals, plants, fungi, um, you know, archaea, enzymes of any type are just too large to penetrate plant cell walls. They're more than 20,000 molecular weight, and uh, that's just too large to penetrate. And that's been well established in literature now for some 35 or 40 years. All right, so brown rot fungi don't use enzymes to penetrate the cell wall, and neither do uh, white rots per se. We'll get into that in a second. The brown rots use low molecular weight compounds, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. This is a cell wall. It's rectangular because brown rots generally uh, attack softwoods, which have rectangular-shaped tracheids. Uh, they have rapid depolymerization of the cell wall. This is a fungus right here. It's surrounded by the ECM, or extracellular matrix, and um, the low molecular weight compounds are secreted by the fungus and they diffuse out into the cell wall. And in fact, Jeff Daniel has data showing that they'll go well into the uh, middle lamella and even into other surrounding cells. Um, so this occurs, and once it occurs, depolymerization of that cell wall will start to occur. Now, the way hydroxyl radicals um, act, and this is all done by hydroxyl radical generated, uh, generated through the chelator mediated Fenton system. So the way hydroxyl radicals uh, attack lignin is they depolymerize lignin and then they immediately repolymerize lignin. So you can actually see this uh, with uh, like uh, atomic force microscopy. The lignin starts to form these little nodules as it all clumps together. So that is this brown rotted lignin that we talk about in the forest that persists for hundreds of years and some reports, as you know, uh, even suggest maybe over a thousand years. The brown rotted lignin in this repolymerized form will persist uh, that long. The polysaccharide components, the cellulose and the hemicellulose, those are depolymerized to sugars which are readily diffusible. They don't repolymerize, and they have the ability to diffuse out of the cell wall back into or back to the fungus uh, where they are metabolized. So lignin stays out here, or the repolymerized modified lignin stays out here, uh, and the cellulose components move back in solubilized form to the fungus where they're metabolized. So that's brown rot. If we, uh, oh, and these are just some pictures here. Uh, this is a fungus, a brown rot fungus. In some of the early work we did with low molecular weight metabolites and visualizing these little specks uh, that are secreted by the fungal hyphae. Um, and then the immunolabeling work we did shows them in the cell wall as well. Okay. Um, so the next aspect that we want to look at is white rots here on the right side. And um, we don't think of enzymes as penetrating the wall, but we look at them at the surface of the cell wall uh, where they erode, slowly erode that cell wall, okay? Um, so uh, this is a cell wall here. It's kind of oval or rounded shape because white rots, as you know, tend in general to prefer um, hardwoods. That's not a hard and fast rule but tends to be uh, that way. So I just depicted this as a, a more oval shaped uh, uh, cell. Again, you've got your fungus in here and you have the extracellular matrix surrounding it, gluing it essentially to the cell wall, but also functioning as a media that the uh, enzymes in particular are uh, able to diffuse through to get to the cell wall, all right? So those enzymes, which are much lar larger, as I've tried to depict here, this isn't a very good depiction because I can't really, uh, you know, draw the enzymes eroding away the cell wall. But little by little, 
they act in essentially, you could think of it maybe as scraping away that cell wall to thin it. And you've got one fungus doing that here. You probably have another one on the other side or down here that's doing this. So gradually your cell wall becomes thinner. The enzymes, um, yes, at least in some cases, both lacases and peroxidases uh, for lignin degradation do have low molecular weight compounds, but we call those mediators. And those mediators have only been found to be very, very closely associated with the enzymes. They don't diffuse any further than angstroms. Um, and so that's a big, big difference uh, between the many, many microns you get over here of diffusion in brown rots and diffusion or lack of diffusion of low molecular weight compounds uh, from enzymes in the white rots. Okay, with enzymatic action, you do depolymerize and solubilize the lignin components and also the cellulosic components. So that's a key point that is well established in the, in the literature now. Those components will diffuse back to the uh, fungus where both lignin uh, or solubilized lignin and solubilized polysaccharides are then metabolized by the fungus. Okay, so that's really the difference in brown rot and white rot degradation.